Climate change related events are already happening more frequently. All countries are affected and face the task of building up their resilience to environmental changes. Human activities such as burning fossil fuels, livestock farming and deforestation cause global temperatures to surge. Rising sea levels will put coast and low-lying islands at risk. Severe droughts, floods and superstorms will become more frequent and one in six of the Earth's species will be threatened. That is why at the Paris Climate Conference in December 2015, Eswatini and 194 other countries agreed to the world's first ever universal plan to tackle climate change by limiting global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius. The agreement was a commitment to tackling climate change by reducing greenhouse gas emissions and taking measures to adapt to the unavoidable impacts of climate change. This was just the beginning. Eswatini is already putting its Paris commitment into action, having taken aggressive measures to define economy-wide greenhouse gas targets covering all priority sectors. Through adaptation and mitigation goals in its nationally determined contribution, NDC, the country intends to adopt an economy-wide greenhouse gas emissions reduction target of 5%, with a potential to increase to 14% reduction with external financial support in 2030, compared to the baseline scenario. This translates to 1.04 million tons fewer GHD emissions in 2030. The NDC of Eswatini adopts measures to mitigate climate change impacts in the sectors of energy, waste, industrial processes and product uses, and agriculture, forestry and other land use. In the energy sector, achieving 50% generation from renewable energy in the total energy mix, improving energy access and energy intensity of the residential sector, reducing energy intensity of industrial, agricultural, commercial and public service sectors, fuel blending and electric mobility in transport. In the waste sector, reducing GHG emissions through improvements in waste treatment. In the IPPU sector, substitution of hydrofluorocarbon consumptions for low GWP alternatives recovery and reuse of refrigerants. Under the AFOLU sector, moving from Tier 1 to Tier 2 GHD inventory and improving data collection and institutional arrangements. Reducing land degradation through restoration, including planting 10 million trees and improving livestock management. Eswatini also intends to take adaptation actions in agriculture, water, health, ecosystems and biodiversity and infrastructure to reduce the negative impacts of climate change. In agriculture, increasing the contribution of agriculture to economic development to support both food security and income generation. Reducing poverty and improving food and nutrition security through sustainable use of natural resources, improved access to markets and improved disaster and risk management systems. In the water sector, improving water governance and compliance to help manage water resources efficiently and effectively to adapt to resultant water shortages from climate change. In the health sector, enhancing legal, policy and institutional frameworks for health sector, 
leveraging the use of technologies to help health sector adapt to climate change. Ecosystems and biodiversity. Establishing long-term biodiversity conservation, landscape management and natural resources management. In the infrastructure sector, improving the evidence base of climate change impacts on infrastructure. Developing nature-based solutions for urban infrastructure for adaptation benefits and disaster risk reduction to enhance the resilience of urban dwellers. Actions in youth, gender and disaster risk reduction are cross-cutting in mitigation and adaptation efforts. They include gender, building capacity in gender mainstreaming in climate action, enhancing participation of women and girls in decision-making to facilitate representation of gender issues. Youth, enhancing the participation of the youth in decision-making including policies and projects development. Building the capacity of the youth in climate policy development, accessing climate finance to engage in income generation climate action. Disaster risk reduction. Updating and revising risk and hazard maps and collecting data through research for risk reduction. Developing a multi-hazard early warning system covering all relevant sectors with climate hazard monitoring. This will require a countrywide economic transformation, making agriculture more sustainable, unlocking the potential of renewables and redesigning the electricity markets. This transition will bring new opportunities to industries, investors and innovative companies. And the more Eswatini does, the more its citizens will benefit through job creation, smarter products, cleaner air and more secure energy supplies. The Paris Agreement gives us a global action plan to fight climate change. By working together, we can build a safer, more sustainable world for us all and for future generations.